Pyrotech is a US based company and they are having their factories in India at uh, Chennai and Pune. So at uh, Alukas we are having with us uh, Sri Vivekananda Lokre, the Managing Director of uh, Pyrotech India as well as we have Giridhar Raj, Head of Sales of uh, Pyrotech in India. Sir, uh, it is wonderful to see that you are having this uh, auto power machine uh, yeah. uh, which is used by the aluminium casters. So can you just uh, tell me about this uh, particular product what you are, and how it is useful for the aluminium casters? Okay, this is a machine that has been developed uh, right from the concept stage within India uh, by our Pune team and uh, right from concept to designing and uh, building the machine, engineering the machine and building it has been done by the Indian team. So, so this is a completely make in India product? This is a completely Atma Nirbhar Bharat product, okay, okay. right? And uh, so this is actually automating, it, it's, it's a step, to, step towards automating the some of the foundry processes. And uh, that is the need of the hour today, especially post-COVID. A uh, lot of foundries want to do automation. And this is one of the key areas of automation because this is a risky area. And uh, it's also safety critical. Okay, so uh, this is the kind of uh, machine that we have developed. It is industry 4.0 capable. Okay. And uh, it's a, a step in between expensive six axis or seven axis uh, robots made by world reputed companies and uh, the manual uh, system which has been used all these decades. Okay. Uh, so this is a, you can call it as an economical automation. So this is particular process was all traditional where people were used to do in hands or the manual processes which Pyrotech have conceived, developed and in India in your Pune factory and you developed this machine. Amazing. So what we are showing over here is just uh, we are replicating the whole thing in water okay. because that's the safe uh, material to use in a place like yes, this. Yes. Okay. Uh, so what we are trying to demonstrate is that this product is uh, free of jerks and in a foundry the same product will not allow spillages to take place. So liquid metal spilling can be a safety hazard, can be bad for uh, the per person who's, if they happen to be standing nearby, it can cause a fire. So those things will not happen. So we took a lot of care to make sure that the machine is jerk free, which required a lot of refinements to so many parts of the, uh, many of the systems. And that's what you're seeing over here in the background. So uh, this is very amazing. And we also know that apart from this uh, particular machine, uh, Pyrotech is having many innovations which you are doing from your Chennai as well as your uh, yes. Pune factory. If you yes. can just give us a small glimpse of what Pyrotech is doing in India. Yeah, well not all of them are displayed over here but I've just got one over here at this. This is a uh, one of the innovation products that we have made. We traditionally the product that is made is a flat, uh, this is known as a filter but uh, for certain products and certain processes in foundries they are using shaped filters and traditionally those are in uh, steel wire, steel mesh. Okay, now this is in uh, a material which does not cause iron con contamination. And uh, so it's a pretty complicated product. Okay, we have traditionally made this as a flat two dimensional filter, but shaping, giving it a shape like this might look to be a very simple elementary thing, but it causes tremendous amount of complications. And so along with customers, we are working on this and uh, uh, are uh, refining this process. But this is one of those innovative processes. And the products. raw material of this is? Uh, this is glass yarn. Glass. Yeah. So It doesn't look like glass, but it is glass yarn. <laughs> so yeah. making a product like this, a big machine, but yeah. making a small from uh, the glass, yeah. this is more complicated, I believe, to bring this it precise. It is very complicated. Yeah, we've been working on this for more than a year. Why a year? It's almost two years. Yeah, we have been working on this and it's being refined yeah. continuously. US, uh, being Pyrotech being a US based company, but the kind of innovations what Pyrotech India is doing is something what is amazing and uh, we should congratulate uh, uh, Mr. Vivekananda Lokre as well as his team. It's actually the team that is doing it. Uh, the person who's working on this is standing right over there. His name is Karthik. He is the head of uh, the Chennai plant. Okay. Um, and also the sales team. Yeah. My colleague over here. Yeah. Giridhar. Yeah. So they are working with customers and with the factory also as a coordination and uh, making the whole thing work. Yes. Yeah. So we are also have seen that, you know, the aluminium uh, casting, otherwise the casting mold 
all these industries are now growing in india yes so there are a, now we have understood that you know tech is developing a lot of machines which can automate this process right, right. which can help them to produce more absolutely so how is the market now yes. developing for pyrotech it's a wonderful question the entire industry is going towards uh, industry 4.0 like where it talks about complete automation right from the word go so we enable our customers not only with uh, supplies of consumables but we also supply uh, this capital equipments which will eventually help them to get automated so to start with we have also got these kind of three axis machines we also have robotic versions which can cater to a much bigger spread and uh, applications so when you are talking about three axis machine just right. to understand right. that so now the uh, um, uh, molten metal right. is taken from this and yes. it is now poured here and it can pour in other place also Absolutely. multiple places this is actually a simulated version of a foundry right an aluminum foundry this represents a kind of furnace and this will be like more of a die casting machine so it picks up from here and pours into the spout of uh, you know the furnace similarly if you have more number of uh, furnaces and uh, die casting machines we can also have that covered and that's why the robotized application helps we are also working with leading uh, robotic manufacturers uh, to start with abb we have very strategic partnership but uh, that doesn't stop we can also cut across and work with other uh, robotic manufacturers also yeah so now yes. uh, this uh, particular product will be also integrated right. into this machine so that it can become more productive Absolutely. more automated and uh, uh, yes when more it goes into the concept of positioning to start with we have uh, for a lesser automation application where the layout is not much bigger these three axes can typically you know cater where the spread is huge and more number of machines to be you know given at the same time the molten metal then we go for a robotized version so i think we cannot just tell that you know the industry whatever it is we just sell a standard product right it is all about the challenges Absolutely. what a customer is facing right. where pyrotech can yeah. give a solution yes yes though these machines are standard you are absolutely spot on but the layout of each customer varies and that's where we can you know optimize or you know what uh, customize the product for them and as you rightly ask the trends and drivers is are going for uh, you know automation and that's where uh, you know future is all about 4.4 yesterday we interacted with one of our key customers where he spoke about digitization in foundries huh. foundry is getting digital now <laughs> from the word go which means what everything should be you know like less and less uh, human intervention more of automation so we wish pyrotech all the very best and Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. thank you very much uh, for sharing your time your uh, uh, mr gridhar and thank Absolutely. you vivekananda sir thanks a lot thank you and so much we wish you all the best